Good morning, everyone. How are you doing on this freezing, snowy Sunday evening? I just want to know why you didn't start this truck up to begin with. Trying to save on gas, TQ. <laughs> it is so cold in here. It's expensive these days, so you know now you just got to deal with it. You know we can't be starting cars up and let them warm up anymore. That yes, just... we can. Nope. Yes, we can. You guys seen that uh, TikTok where you start the car up and it's like twenty-five dollars <laughs> as soon as you start it up? <laughs> That's kind of how we feel these days. Oh, no. Man. Just kidding. Anyway, so we got some snow last night, kind of off and on all day yesterday. Uh, we need to go out and at least check our lots to make sure they're good. Now, I've been checking my own driveway, which is concrete, which most of our lots are, and nothing's stuck on our driveway, so therefore I'm not anticipating, but we still have to do our jobs and at least go make yep. sure. And then uh, if, if they need hit with salt, we're going to go pick up a load of salt and hit them. If they don't, we're going to transition and... Maybe if we get a chance, we'll go buy TQ some new work shoes because she can't work without work shoes. All right, pulling up here. This is our second one. The first one was perfectly fine as well. And what we anticipated with this one is the same exact thing. So it's just the ground temperatures are just too warm right now. With us, you know, being in the 70s this past week, a few, half the week, I guess you could say, uh, everything's just kind of melted off. Now, we'll keep an eye on it, see how uh, how it does, and see if it needs it. But as of right now, I think we're good to go. What do you think, TQ? I agree, I agree. Um, and plus, there's no employees here right now. Now, yeah. there will be some coming in tonight. So like, like you just said, we'll come and check it, see how these wet spots do. Um, as the temperatures go on for the day so right right now we're currently right at freezing 32 degrees mm -hmm. so if that changes and say it goes down to 18 or so maybe we need to come out and hit it but as of right now it's just too warm that's the plan how's my hair looks nice <laughs> well i'm gonna have to wait just a little bit to get my shoes because a customer went on and rented our last six by six so we have a little bit of a maintenance thing to do there and uh yeah you'll have to see what we're going to be doing but yeah we're going to do that and then hopefully today i'll get my shoes right babe sure honey <laughs> all right i think i got everything for the job tq did go to get the drill out of the shed real quick but got our latches got our bolts everything we should need gloves check Still got coffee check. Got the kids some donuts and dropped them off. Some uh, GoPro batteries. All right, guys. TQ is going to get the lock off. This is the last unit we have available. Remember, I told you probably a month ago the six by sixes weren't renting. Well, they've all rented. So if you remember a few months ago, tenant broke into this unit and that unit. He had both of this one and that one down there rented at the same time. Uh, we locked him out when we took ownership. He decided to come and cut his locks off, hence the damage here that we will end up repairing at some point, uh, just not as of right now. But with that being said, this unit's already been cleaned out. It's ready to take ownership of it. I am going to take down some of these screw things, hopefully. That one's got like a weird head on it, star head it looks like, Phillips, uh, but just the tenants come in and they hang stuff so that's what they like to do and uh oh yeah we got to get that out of there oh i didn't know i thought that was a yeah i got this one out there. son of a gun and i touched that too i'm glad that wasn't pointy so yeah well got me a little surprise there but anyways units overall great just now i gotta really check to make sure something isn't like sticking somewhere yeah. hiding yeah and like little holes there and stuff we're gonna get the broom out too and just do a once over for any uh stuff but i'm gonna get my gloves and get that now that here you want to record real quick yeah son of a gun so i went and got a bottle and something else to uh touch it with because i can't see if the cap's on it or not so i'm gonna try to get it I, I grab the end here, but I can't tell if the other end is on there or not. Thank God it is. But it's unfortunate. I don't have to blur this out because I don't see any 
thing. I, I don't believe it's been used. It looks pretty new. It doesn't look dirty, thank God. But now I just gotta look. I don't see any more there. That's why you gotta check though. You don't want somebody else renting this unit and then finding surprises, you know? All the hidden spots look good. Let's get some work done. Some cat flies down in there. Check the piece. <laughs> that is a handy kit there. Yeah, it is. Hey, you want to check those for me so I don't have to get up? I need to be smaller than that. Yep, smaller. This one will do. That one will do? Yep. That'll do, donkey, that'll do. <laughs> Anybody know the movie? Shrek? Yeah, good job. I'm just trying to reuse the hardware. Was the uh, nut in there as well? Yeah. Okay. So this is the old plate right here. You can see where my thumb is. That's where he cut through and he was able to remove our lockout plate and our lock and then he just took his lock off and he gained access to his unit. So TQ has the new one here. And the way we're gonna do this is she's going to put it through because they say you need two people, at least online. Uh, whenever we looked at these, when we were gonna order some more, uh, they say one person on the outside, one person on the inside, just to make it easier on yourself. Yep. So let's get to it. Let's do it. So you definitely have to have two people. Only because on the outside bolts, they're squared. So it stops them from spinning. That's what locks it. And then on the inside here, you have to have somebody holding in from the outside to get them on. So. Make sure it's lining up. Push down on it. Make sure it's lining up. Good to go. Yep, good to go. So pretty simple. You could probably put one more right there, but I'm not gonna worry about it. 
we're gonna do a real quick once over of this thing with the broom real fast just to get any cobwebs and the tenant will take possession in two days i think it is so they went online which is really nice and reserved it i'm so glad we found that though because that would have been bad for a new Absolutely. tenant so we'll get this cleaned up i want to get a couple of these taken out all right so i guess i'll share a little information for anybody that's new to the channel tq and myself purchased this location back in november well technically we purchased it in like september october but three months of financing all that whole spiel uh we bought it we have 39 units here uh so we've owned it now technically for four months so we took ownership at the beginning of december 2021 and uh it's been a learning process. This is our first storage facility that we've owned. But as of right now, which were March 27th, I think, uh, of 2022, everything is going phenomenal. Little hiccups like what I ran into there uh, a second ago. Uh, but overall, it's been a good experience. And I'll tell you what, if any of you are thinking about hopping into the storage game, just know, yes, you do have to do little things like this, unless it's a bigger location where you can hire somebody to do the maintenance side for you. But uh, overall, this facility is exactly what we wanted. We wanted something that we could invest our lawn care earnings into, and then it could roll back into us in our retirement years. So 20 years from now, this facility will be completely paid off, and everything that's coming in then we'll be able to live off of when we're old and you know all of that and i'll have more time to do little things like this like uh take down cobwebs and stuff but yeah just wanted to share that little bit of information with you guys uh make sure you are in any kind of business you're saving your money and investing it into things that can make you more money and uh just doing things smartly that's uh the biggest thing make sure you know what you're investing into whether that's uh you know homes uh you know laundry mats you name it whatever uh just make sure you're doing your due diligence to make sure it's a good deal so this facility came onto the market uh so then we offered and they declined and then a few days later they countered us and then we countered them and we all ended up settling where i knew we could make money on it cash flow monthly on it it would take care of itself uh we could add to this facility to add value to it and uh just overall be a good investment for us and uh something else that was a big part of our deal was we need storage for the lawn care business so we have it here as we need it as the business grows as we need to store different things we can store right here as something becomes available now i will say we didn't foresee filling every single unit up as quickly as we did but adding a good website to that good seo behind it we were able to take this location it really had no online presence whatsoever and give it an online presence and it filled up very very quickly now there's things that we're doing behind the scenes as well with this business to add more value to it like rate increases you know bring it up to market value uh we added we just added new security we're looking to redo the parking lots this summer we're going to blacktop those and uh just little things here and there that make the property a more valuable uh uh asset i guess you could say so i'm gonna go ahead and continue taking down cobwebs and i'll bring you back in one second putting that little toolbox together too it just has everything for this place in it was a good idea i can throw just that little box in any vehicle that we're using for the day or whatever um see any more that i'm missing here yeah Nope. Good. Yep. Looks good. All right. Looks good. Now. Yeah. 
starting to snow on us again. So the best way to do this is with a blower. But when we switched vehicles, I forgot to grab the blower out of the bed of the other truck. So I had to grab the old broom real quick. These six by sixes aren't bad. All right, guys, so the last thing I was going to do before we got out of here is replace these handles as we gain access. But the ones I got are too big. So we got to get these ones uh, just because they rust and run down the doors. This one's not horrible yet, but it still needs to go. And then, as you can see, that one's rusty. So I wanted to get it changed out, but the ones I got aren't going to work. So TQ is going to lock it up and uh we'll get those another day but we're gonna have to probably order them because this is all they had at the store so that unit's ready to be taken over like we told you guys how we do this facility they go online rent the unit it sends them a code they come here put the code in they take the lock off put their lock on they then now have possession of the unit everything's paid online they walk their lock over to here which it tells them online put it in the lock box drop it in there boom bada bing right yep and they told us they told us, TQ, we could not automate this facility nope. without putting up a fence. And we knew that when we bought it, that it was challenged because right here is the property line. So therefore with the city, we cannot technically put a fence up here with a gate to these. But uh, the way we looked at it is for 70 years, these units were built in the fifties. They had been selling and renting every single year. Yep. So it was documented. We just we knew we could automate the system so that you wouldn't have to come here. And that was the biggest thing with the previous owners is they had to come here and they lived an hour away. And that was why they wanted to get rid of the facility. It was just too time consuming for them. Right. And the only time we would have to come here is when we overlock someone yep. for non-payment. We put the locks on, but it's the same locks with the codes on it. And once they end up paying, they get that code, unlock it and drop it in the box and they'd be free to go. So. Yep. It's very cool. What's the uh, site that we use to automate everything? So we use Easy Storage yep. um, Solutions, and then we use DaVinci Locks. Nice. As the locks. So, so if any of you get grade two together, so which is really nice. Now you do have to pay a monthly fee, yes. monthly service fee, but hey, it's just like LMN software. You know, it makes our life easier. And if it makes your life easier and it works and it makes money, I'm all for it. And the sun's coming out and it's snowing. This weather is insane. We're like there for a second we were almost in darn near whiteout conditions you couldn't see two cars in front of us but it's not even supposed to be snowing right now tq that's a shame but you know we have time to do is go get me some shoes i'll put in the request i, I don't know if i'll get approved or not but i'll find out more and then we'll be in contact all right brother sounds good all right thanks john thank you <laughs> bye all right guys so can't get in today to what I was hoping to show you guys, but check this out. This is, it. it's not even supposed to be snowing. They said no snow, snow in the forecast. And right here, these people are dead stopping right now. Oh, uh, cause there's a car turned around here. Is it really? Yep, oh right man, here. it's a Tesla. That's crazy. Hope they're okay. Oh, oh they didn't hit anything. Thank goodness. There's kids in the car. They spun around, but they didn't hit anything. Everybody's safe. They just need to get turned around. So, yeah, man, we just literally hit this whiteout spall. I was recording a second ago and it went away, but no snow in the forecast right now. Huh, we may have to put some salt down. Yeah, buddy. We made it. Duluth. Duluth. My non-favorite store. Non-favorite store. I and only I, like it for Mike one likes, reason. Mike likes it for those uh, snuggy pants. So these are these are what I'm working with right now. <laughs> They're not waterproof anymore. All right, so she found a seven in the boot. What do you think? It actually fits, fits pretty good. Okay. You gonna give those a try, or are you gonna go with some pink, blue? They got these things in a million colors. So. I mean, honestly, they turn green super quick. So. <laughs> that is very true. As soon as you get some of that sticky, icky green stuff on them. I just like how lightweight they are. Yeah. When I'm walking and stuff. I'm going to give the, the boot a try. Okay. Yeah. So pre-Cove, this was the best area about Duluth and why I didn't mind coming here, even though I don't really care for the clothes and stuff, personally. You can come back here, you can watch TV, you can sit. And then they did have a beautiful coffee bar here. 
but due to cove they removed it and yeah are now doing that whole thing but yeah you used to be able to come get coffee and be able to chill and your wife could shop and yeah all that stuff so it says at this time we are not offering complimentary coffee tea or water we apologize for any inconveniences may cause forward to offering services again in the future yeah me too but really nice store all right so nice quick trip in here and i actually bought not one thing i bought two things here so first time i've ever bought anything from the store uh tq does buy stuff here all the time so i got some aftershave, aftershave. Only because when I shaved my neck the other day, I broke out pretty bad. And then this baby right here. It's pretty nifty. It's a pen grip. You put it up on your visor and it holds all your pens and pencils and stuff. Yeah, it couldn't be that. I think it was six bucks. So yeah. We always got pens all over the vehicles and trucks. So that'll keep it in one place. 